Hey guys, how you doing? We're going to do a super quick video for the 4x4 um, Mystery Machine zip bag. It's got a couple of applique pieces. Well, it's got two applique pieces on it. But anytime I do anything different or weird, I try to help you out and, and do a video for it. So um, you'll need Mystery Machine color, windshield color, a back, Somali fun, three inches of gross grain, um, lobster claw or D-ring, and a, five, a six inch zipper. And the first thing we always do, of course, is we hoop up our medium weight cutaway stabilizer. This is a bigger hoop because all my um, smaller hoops are running fobs right now. Throw it in the machine and run color stop one. Be back after one. Okay, there we go. We've got our dial line for our lobster claw and ribbon assembly. So we're gonna fish it through, blah, blah, blah. And we're going to tape the raw ends of that assembly about a quarter of an inch below, one quarter of an inch below the die line. And then we're, because we don't like floppy metal bits, we're gonna tape that down. We're gonna run color stop two, which tacks it, and three, three, which gives us a die line. Back in a minute. Okie dokie guys, we have got our ribby ribbon tacked down, and we have got our die line sewed out so now we need to put our zippy zip in woohoo Ooh. there we go so we are going to grab our zipper which is way oversized but it is the one that best matched so we are going to cut a lot of this off and then we are going to center it between this line and this line this is one inch most standard zipper ribbon is one inch. So if you lay this so that the top and the bottom are covering up that line, nice and perfect, nice and straight, you are exactly where you need to be for all the stitching that's about to go on. So secure it to the left and to the right and put it back in the machine and tack it down. And we will be back for our first two pieces of vinyl. Just a sec. Okay, I said we'd be back for our first two pieces of vinyl. I lied. We are only going, because this is a funky bag, we're laying our vinyl one piece at a time. So first we are going to lay some mystery van vinyl down. You need about one inch by four and a half, five inches. Go ahead and just, you don't have to super secure it. There you go. Put that in there. Tuck that buddy down. And we'll be back for our second piece of vinyl in just a minute. Okay, folks, so there is our first little piece of vinyl. We are going to lay our second piece of vinyl, and this is gonna be about, um, gonna need to be about one and a half inches by four and a half inches. I've got this piece of scrap left over for some other stuff. You can see it's all janky and everything. I'm gonna go ahead and it's got a nice straight edge, yay me. I'm gonna put it down and I will be trimming the bottom. We will not be needing this much vinyl for this step at all. Then go ahead and throw it in the machine and run the next step. Told you we'd be back skippy quick. Okay, so you'll see it's got a normal tack down up here at the top, but here it's got a zigzag. That's because you're gonna need to applique trim. <gasps> I know on the bottom of that zigzag. We're trying to decrease the amount of vinyl that um, your machine is fixing to have to show, so fixing to have to, wow. Wow, fixing to have to, woohoo! I are articulate, let me tell you. Um, that we are going to be um, uh, stitching over. So now we are going to take more mystery van material and we are just going to make sure we are covering all four sides. And it's about three inches by four and a half inches. I'll give you exact measurements in uh, the PDF. Go ahead and stitch this down. It's also gonna give you a tack line and we'll be back to trim this out. Okie dokie pokies, there's your zigzag. Go ahead and trim the top. This time we're trimming the top. All right, just like that. 
Bada boom, bada bing. Now, go ahead and put it back in the machine and run color stops, blurg. Yes, blurg is now a number. Um, da -da -da. Um, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13. I will see you back here at color stop 14. Okay guys, there we are. We've got all of our details done and ready to go. We're gonna flip this little guy over and we're gonna take a piece of eye thing and we are going to make sure that we at least cover from that line down. But since this square is about five by five, I'm just gonna go ahead and put the whole thing down and we'll trim out in just a minute. Run color stop 15. Okie dokie, we've got our W, or not WSS, blurg. And we've got our Ollie Fun attached to the back. And now we get to do step one of our little zipper trick. So we're gonna trim some of that off, get rid of it. Who needs it? And we're gonna open our zipper. And we're gonna open it about two fingers. Not very much at all. And then we are going to trim our teeth and we are going to cut about one quarter of an inch from our stitch line. Do do do. So right about there. Then we're gonna open up a little tear in the stabilizer. And we are going to push, push, push those through. Oh, I haven't even done the die lines yet. I am just making this up, aren't I? <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm doing about six things at once. So we are gonna put, because your machine hates transitions, we're gonna put a little piece of tape there. And we're gonna put a little piece of tape there. First, we need to go sew those transitions. Yeeks. Yeeks. Or as uh, nerdling number two would put it, yeet. All right. Now, sorry. <laughs> I got ahead of myself. Ignore me. Back in a second. Okay, you know what works better is if you actually have the die lines of where you're supposed to cut to. So, yeah. Now, <laughs> we're going to... Pull that tape back up. I'm sorry, guys. And we are going to put a little bit of a tear in the stabilizer right <sighs> It's one of those days, isn't it? Right there. Man. Now we are going to stuffy. Ugh. And stuffy. And pull it through and make sure that our teeth are there <laughs> and put our vinyl back and there we go. Now we'll come over here and we'll do this side correctly. <laughs> Don't try this at home guys, I'm a professional. Psst. Great. All right, we're gonna cut to the die line, but we are going to cut the teeth out a quarter of an inch to the outside of the die line. Then we're gonna lift up. See, this is how the other side was supposed to go. And put a little tear in and stuffy and stuffy and pull through. <sighs> Man, now we're gonna come back here and we're gonna do crisscross applesauce. And I'm staring at the back realizing I have not put a little tear in my stabilizer yet. So, um, for when I need to open my, or my zipper for turning. So I probably need to, while I'm thinking about it. Oi. Ah. Come back over here and do that. Otherwise, shame and discontent. There we go. Now, go tack that down. We'll be back in a second. Let's see if we can finish this without messing it up even more. So we're gonna take and cut our jumps because they're annoying. And then we're gonna flip it over and we are going to cut away our excess and we're gonna cut those jumps too, yeesh. Cut away our excess ribbon and take off of our, or take off the tapey tape. 
Arg. There we go. Then we're going to flip it over and we're going to take off this tape. Yes, we are. And we're going to try and take it off in such a way that I don't have to sit here and pick tape out of the stitches. And we're going to take this tape off and hopefully take it off in such a way that I don't have to pick tape out of the stitches. Oh, there we go. Then we're going to come up here and we are going to make a little cut in the vinyl down to that stitch line. Don't cut the stitch line and don't cut on the stitch line. Stop just an oomph above the stitch line. Just like that. And turn that down. Turn down for what? And tape that down. Yay. Now, we are going to hope that this piece of funky vinyl that I used on the bigger size bags, yep, that's gonna cover everything. Because um, I like it and it's fun also. That's a weird piece, and I don't know what else I would use it for, so let's do this. And throw it in the machine and run color stop 17 to finish this bad boy off. We'll be back to turn in a second. Okay, so here we are. We are all finished up. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to flip this little guy over, and we are going to trim carefully not to clip our zipper. We're gonna trim away that stabilizer on the back so that it's not there when we go to turn. And again, you wanna be, ooh, so careful. Ooh, so careful. There we go. And then we are gonna pop it out of its hoop. And then, because these are all nice straight lines, we're gonna grab our roto cutter and we are going to trim about an eighth of an inch away from our stitch line, give or take. You don't have to get up in there and measure. Here's me just talking to myself. That one's way more than a, that's almost a quarter of an inch. Well, look at me. That's okay. It'll be fine. It'll work out. All of these are approximates. And then, once we get this last little bit trimmed off, we are gonna make sure we close that, move it out of the way, then we are gonna roundy roundy. And while I'm up here, since I did such a bad job, I am gonna go ahead and cut that ha, huh? and then roundy, and roundy. And didn't roundy enough. There we go. Then roundy. And then, since this is a tiny little, yeah, tiny little, tiny little itty bitty thing, we're going to put our fingers in here and this is going to be fun. Especially if you have monster paws. We're going to get our tapes off. There's both of our tapes. Ew. And then we're going to open. Yes. Now, let's see if we can get this turned without breaking a finger. I love the little four by four zips. They're great for change, but boy, are they tough to turn. Ah. All right, that's the halfway point. Now it's just getting the little corners and little pieces. Oi, and bay. Okay, now we're gonna grab something um, that has a, that's stiff and 
and, and long and has a roundy. And we're gonna poke out our corners. Poke out our corners. Oh, boy. Poke out our corner. Okay, we're gonna come up here. We're gonna poke out that corner. And then we're gonna come over here and poke out that corner. And then we're gonna roll, roll, roll your seams away. Gently down the stream. Merrily, merrily, merrily. Life is but a dream. Oops, and we got a little bit of, yuck, right there. All right, guys, there it is. The little four by four. Oh my God, this is so cute and adorable. I love this. Oh, that makes me happy. All right, there we go. The little four by four zip bag mystery machine. Isn't that adorable? Yeah. All right, peace guys.